So we have some normal things happening around here today and some very not so normal things happening. So normal, I'm sure you guys can guess. It's laundry, dishes, edit a video, water flowers, whole weeds. The not so normal is that we don't have hot water. So about a week after the big storm, hey Joe, what are you listening to? Yeah, whoa, right. So it was about a week after the big storm and we noticed that um, Sam was actually the first one to notice. He came out, we were swimming and he's like, I just took a cold shower. I'm like, really? It's like, yeah, I was like, huh. So we, didn't, we weren't sure if maybe it was just the, like our water conditioner, you know, if that maybe the setting was off or something due to the power outage. So Warren did a little investigating and it was not anything that he um, really knew what was going on. So we finally, this morning, finally remembered to call the plumber. It's been a number of days. <laughs> I don't know how we just kind of forget to call on something like hot water, but we did. And the plumber is here right now they said that it's something, there's some reset button had to be pushed or something like that. And that's what they're working on. So we do have, the hot water is heating, I guess, and they're just double checking a whole bunch of other things. I was just coming over by you guys. Yeah. We, got all of the, we have all the little prongs that hold the fencing out, except yeah. for one post. I cannot get them out, so really? um, the post isn't rotten enough. Oh my gosh. So I was gonna have dad after lunch see if he could come out and help you it, out. But I just need some water and Yeah. So I, I just take a break. I was gonna come out and help. I was doing flowers. Okay. As soon as I finished flowers, then the plumbers pulled up. Oh, that's okay. So and it like, actually I was able to do it with um myself with like the two hammers. It wasn't Okay. But um Yeah, so tell us what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so we're taking down the horse fence. Um okay. because it was falling apart. So right now wire. we have all the wire off that holds the hog panels together and I just took out all the prongs that hold the hog panels to the posts. Okay. Except for one post that I'm going to see if dad can help with. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we're just going to stack the hog panels in a pile and it's rip out all the posts. Okay, the that's I'm tractor work. So. <laughs> it's going to be pretty nice. hard. You got some nice gloves. So I don't know what your afternoon is like, but if you could maybe help when I rip the post out of the ground, because someone's going to have to like chain it and then pull it out. and I can probably make that work. <laughs> the work is coming about like 2.15, 2.30. What's that in my glove? Oh, it's... It looks like a burr. Yeah, it is a burr. But holy cow, it is hot in the sun. You can tell yeah. uh, I'm not conditioned like I uh, was last few summers. <laughs> yeah. In the summer we wish it could be winter, right. and in the winter we wish it could be summer. You know, that's exactly, I was exactly how it thinking is. That. I'm like, what I'd give right now for a nice cold <laughs> burr. Like, <laughs> well, that wasn't it so cool nice last night? Yeah, last night was oh my so gosh. nice. I loved it. It actually was we cold this yeah. morning when Dad got up. Yeah. He's like, I gotta go check the the thermometers because the frost alarm was reading 40 yeah. uh, gosh I, I don't know i want to say 42 or 43 yeah i know when i left work thing. yes <laughs> this morning or whatever it was my car thermometer said it was like 43 or something like that like it was i know it was chilly, but it felt it honestly felt really nice like you get that first glimpse of i know and it's like ooh. Even for me, who loves the heat and the extreme humidity. <laughs> when you get that first like moment of fall type weather, it does feel really, really good. So, all right, radio's on. I got to turn this off and we'll catch in later. Yeah, I just realized that my camera here is missing a screw on the back and that's why my screen has been flopping around. I thought it seemed a little shaky lately. But anyway, we are all done with lunch. And I think Emily's already over here working on the horse fencing again. And I have a cookie. Yes, Maria has a cookie because Amber made what kind of cookies last night for us? Uh, what are those called? Sugar something. They're called bakery sugar cookies. And they are a super, super good recipe. Always make good chewy cookies. So 
I think she has the horses in the round pen. Where is the round pen? Um, over there. Oh, is it back behind the shed? Mm -hmm. So, yep, the horses are hanging out in the round pen here. There's lots of grass. I bet there. I'll be able to get a glimpse of them here in just a second. Maria and I are walking over here. Joe is back in the house. He's just got out a pile of paper and red coloring pencils. Yep, yeah, there's the horses. There's, there's the horses. That sounds funny. There are the horses over there. Ooh. And they're just gonna hang out over there for a while. Yeah, Eska's smelling everything, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, so here's what we got going on. Emily and the fences are taken down. Yep. And they're bended. I know, so I don't know. How you doing, Peter? Are you helping Emily? Mm -hmm. Are you good help? Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh oh. Let's see. Oh, I see. You did get a scratch. I'm wondering if we should maybe get the four wheeler with the oh. chain and chain up to these and pull them because they're so far into the ground. Yeah. They're hard to get out. They're really hard to get out. Okay, yeah, and I can already kind of feel my, uh, in my lower back. Peter. Okay. Hurting from yanking on these. You know so. what? I didn't bring gloves. Darn. Oh. Maria, oh, do you want to run back? Okay. What? Do you know the <laughs> post over there? Yes. Amber bring some extra gloves over by the post. Okay. Over by over the. There. All right. You want to go run and get them for me, and I'm going to start helping. Maria, can you? <laughs> okay. So it looks like the plan here. They're already all detached from the posts. Some of the posts are rotten. They're actually just falling down all on their own. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to try to pull these out of the ground. Look at the post here that's on the ground. I know. Yeah, Talk about how bad the fence was. When I took the um, post prongs out, uh -huh. the post <laughs> fell over. Just fell over. Yeah, they the were rotten. literally the only thing holding it up. Okay, so our goal is we're just going to start reefing on these to get them to loosen yeah. up. And then I have like two piles of the really bent ones. I have one pile of the straight and, you know, you can see the yep, ones only I see. a little bent. Uh huh. Just so Dad knows like the separation. A couple. We're going to separate them. But okay. you can see the piles aren't that great. All right, we'll make this happen. That you were watching us yank and pull and pull and I don't know Emily had gotten one and then together we were able to get one but that's just very slow going so we didn't realize how far the hog panels had like settled into the dirt and everything and how much the grass had grown over top of them and it's really really slow going so they went to get the four-wheeler and hopefully that in a chain or that in a strap or something is going to make this go a little bit quicker. Alright, so this is going a whole lot better. We got Emily pulling and Peter hooking the hooking on the uh, chain. Sparky just showed up. He and I are going to lift these up and I don't know what I'm getting in the camera here right now. We're gonna lift these up and get them put onto these piles down here and it's working 
quite well actually. All the white ones and this metal one, I couldn't get that out of the ground. We're oh, keeping... That's supposed to go? Yeah, that has to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that has to go. I can't even breathe it out of the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the white stuff by the gate is staying, like those end things, and then like the white stuff over there by that gate is staying. Even the little... Yeah. Door? Okay. Yeah, that's all staying. Everything else is going. <laughs> yeah. the one in charge here today I'm just taking orders and she's doing something with the four-wheeler do you know what she went to do get the John Deere with the bigger chain so we can pull all these rocks and white posts out. oh okay great Sparky's gonna work on a pole over here or a post that didn't sound good Sparky's gonna work on a pole <laughs> should we leave that in there <laughs> <think you> <laughs> <laughs> that one, me and Emily couldn't get out. There we go. Almost. Oh. oh my gosh. It's right there, too. Yeah. Can I borrow your gloves? Yes. Thank you. Get better grip. I know. Oh, it's... Almost. Mom, tomorrow, I think maybe our arms will be hurting. You think our arms maybe, are going to hurt? Because we have been pulling and stuff. I don't know. There it is. There we go. Nice job. Thank you. Is she going to keep these? I don't know. I guess I would just put them in this pile. Yeah. And we will see what happens i think dad if ones that are not very bent he's gonna keep the ones he's gonna keep them if they're yeah not very bent. i think so too and some of these white posts some of them have already fallen over there and over there as soon as emily detached the fence they just fell right over so and some are a little tougher than others Think it's gonna break or it's gonna the whole thing will come out? I think it's gonna break. It seems kind of hollow. Yeah. And these or are far rotted. Enough. Yeah, definitely rotted. Yeah. Woo! How you doing? Good. What kind of colors or what kind of pictures did you color in the house? Um. Let's see, let's go. Yep. You want to go see Roscoe again? Hey, yeah. Imagine, okay. Look. Sparky's got on Rafters t-shirt too. Okay, so Emily's here. She's gonna have some kind of orders for us, I'm sure. Oh boy.
remember when Warren and I used to do stuff like this together in our early years of marriage and woo wee we had different hand signals for everything and it was quite a it was quite a moment I'll just say this is fun to watch these two figure this out together look you got bracelet. on a bracelet nice Thank you. Do you guys think you need me out here anymore? day now. Emily is back. Sparky is back. We are working on the fence. Amber's out here today. And Sam you'll Peter. never... Oh yeah, Sam and Peter are helping a, a lot too. But the reason I'm heading over here is because, you know, I have all kinds of knowledge about electric fences Amber, uh, and all. <laughs> Amber did say when I said I'm going to go get mom, she's like, yeah, we need someone out here with some science degree or something. Because, you know, electric fence is science. Because electric fence is like all about science. Job. No kidding. Yeah, my biology degree is going to do us real good with the, uh, electric fence. with the electric fence. So, anyway, they came in to get me. So I'm heading over here. Pulled me away from editing a video. But, Sorry, uh, why is there water all over now? Um, see, we have to move. Who chucked it this way? I did. Oh. Chuck we tipped it. Oh, we tipped it. Okay. Put half over there and the neighbor said tip it this way, so I'll I got water on me. It's pretty refreshing though. Really? It's refreshing? Yeah. Well, I mean, I gotta clean except for the mosquito time, larva. So. I was gonna say it is gross. Mom, except for the mosquito larva. Uh-huh. Who wants to give me a little update? Yesterday you guys saw us, we you know, they were pulling out posts and taking down everything that was here except these, right? You left these yep. or here from yesterday? Okay, yep. and then what did you add to it? So we just added these uh, these fence insulator. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Okay. So we just added these. This is what the fence is going to get wound through. And that will, that's what's going to hold it all the way. Okay. The fence. Okay. So everything's ready now for just the wire and the electric box, the electric fencer. Okay, good. I see I got something in view of the camera. Probably you don't want showing, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't think What is know. this? That's the seal. That's the gasket. That's the seal. Why do you guys have it still in here? Why didn't you move it out? Because we weren't sure if we were going to need the tractor okay. bucket anymore, so no, it's going to go in the bucket. And we don't want to pick it up. In case any more glass falls off. Yeah, so stuff is always happening around here. This has been, we said, the year for the window because, or, you know, like there's those Chinese year of or whatever. This is the year of the window because, remember, we started it out with the chicken coop window getting broken. Something that we never shared here is that our outhouse door uh, window, that was also broken. 
earlier this spring, much, much earlier this spring, um, our office window got a piece of gravel flung through it uh, one time when Sam was mowing. Then our schoolroom screen window got a um, piece of gravel flung through that and made a hole. I feel like there's another thing. And now, here's the next one. And I don't know if you guys can really tell what's going on there, but the whole door and all the glass shattered out of the door today. So, yeah, that was not a happy moment for anybody involved, but nobody got hurt, so that's a good thing. And, um, yeah, we were saying, and I think I shared on a video one time that the latch wasn't working properly, and so when you were in, you couldn't unlatch it all the time, so you'd have to go over the other side, which is where all the, like, controls are. So it was, it did seem a little dangerous to me. So I guess now the door's gone, so we when don't have that problem anymore. Yes, Peter. The boots bottoms. Oh my goodness, Peter, look at your boots. Yeah, when both of the boots bottoms give out, these are gonna be my boot slippers. Boot slippers, that's exactly what they're gonna be. Oh my gosh, the whole bottoms are falling off. I gotta fill it's time for some new bottle, work boots. Emily's water bottle and get Sam his own water bottle. Okay. You go run and do that, okay? Come back. I need more work boots. But yeah. I'm wondering, do we yeah. have, yeah. yeah, that, and that goes on to set like, like that, and it's just crazy. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like everyone's trying to figure out what the next step yep. is. Yep. But do we have enough, though, to do like this side, that side, and that side? Um, well, we need, we need, we need nine. nine, yeah. Yeah, nine. We don't have nine. We got like six. Yeah. And we have one upstairs. Five. I got one. So, what oh, side? Are they gonna push on the most? They're gonna push on this side. I think they're gonna push on this side. I think they're gonna push on this side. Yeah. Side. They hardly push on that side. Because they don't need prickers. Yeah. yeah. A this side okay. is gonna be the worst though. So let's put them on these two sides. How much? We only have six. Yeah. Three? Oh yeah. Six. Six. Yeah. 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 Step on that. Oh, it's really pulling. It's because it's, oh, oh, yeah, it's cause twisted. It's, curved. it's all twisted, yeah. Step it on. No. Okay. Take more of this off. Maybe, what do you take it there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's the sign. So, all right, so it's been a little slow going here. We've kind of been struggling a lot with how to put tension on the wire and the wires still stay together. They've been kind of snapping and everything, but we think we might be onto it now, right? Hopefully. Yes? Hopefully. Are we happy? Okay, are you going to make a loop, Amber? So or? This one okay, you feels show me what tight. You, Dad taught you. Okay, so Dad, yeah, just, show just us. make a loop. Okay. And you just, I always just bent this around. Okay. And then... Same on the side, make a loop. Well, first you gotta put it through the whole loop. Oh. Otherwise, how are you gonna attach two loops? Okay, so I don't even know. Actually, I can tell you guys what time it is. It is 4.35, right? Yes. I think the race is on tonight, honey, yes. 
So here's what's happening. We got, I'm gonna pan over here. So we got that side. I know you cannot see the wire, but it's up on that side, all the way to that white fence down there. And then we strung it down that direction. Actually over here, all three strands are done. Now we're working on one strand coming all the way around over there. And things are going pretty well, I would say. I would say things are going pretty well. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you say things are going right now, you guys? 4. Right now, like a 7. Before, like a 2. 3 and a half. Like a 6. Okay, so anywhere from a 2 to a 7 <laughs> is how things are going right now. I was going to say probably a 6 and a half. So... Yeah, so that's what's going on. We're kind of getting into our groove here, and now it's going to be time to go make some supper. I do have to say that I am very, very thankful for YouTube because I had no idea how to splice wire together, and we were trying it all different ways, and every time we put the tensioners on, it would just spring apart, and it was... That's about when things were going, about a one or a two. And so... I'm like, you know what, you guys keep thinking on this out here. I'm gonna run in and do a little research. And so two videos later, I had a method. I figured out what to do. And that was really, really helpful. So if you're just on YouTube for pure entertainment, I say start using YouTube to learn something new because holy cow, YouTube just has come in handy so many times. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I in order to fix Emily's, or even when I altered her wedding dress, I used YouTube to give me ideas of how to do it. When I wanted to put in a waist belt on her wedding dress, I used YouTube. When I wanted to, um, I'm also altering a dress. She's going to be standing up in a wedding here in August. It's August 1st today, I can't believe it. Uh, I used YouTube. So when I wanted to know how to prepare a leak, and what to do, not, you know, like leaks, the food, I used YouTube. So definitely, if you're not already using YouTube for learning, you have to. I cannot recommend it enough. Now I'm gonna get my shoes off. It is hot today. I mean, I love it, it feels good, but ooh, it is hot. I'm going to go in and make some hamburgers so you guys know what I'm going to get out. It's going to be my little hamburger press. Maybe what we're going to do is put in the, the post, maybe loosen up the other ones, try to figure that out. You know, let's try to maybe get the area that we started working on yesterday, let's try to get that like to perfect, you know, so that when we're doing the next stuff that we're not doing that wrong. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, so it's day three, working on the fence here. Today our crew is a little bit lighter. We've learned a lot of things, I'm gonna say that. We've learned a lot about um, what we need to kind of change. So what happened here that we didn't know yesterday is that these wires here we just found out are supposed to be anchored to the post rather than anchored to like our underground wire here because now we have a lot of tension on this and I guess what's going to happen is that during the frost it's going to pop out. So Amber and I are going to work at taking this apart and re... Um, I don't know, we have to figure out how that actually gets anchored onto there and um, so that's what we're going to work on right now. Just trying to put our heads together and figure that out. I Name it Malibu. Malibu. That's like my dream. What kind of dog? A blue French bulldog. Hmm. I name it Malibu. I don't know if I'd want a girl or a boy though. I kind of want a boy. I don't know. Come. All right, so we did get Warren to come on over here and help us, and since Amber and I were just sort of at a loss for a couple things, and it's working out. He has a lot more knowledge when it comes to fencing than we do and and honestly just the physics behind it all too. So 
anyway, I think it's looking pretty professional now, won't you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we actually had professionals, it'd probably have been up in three hours. I know, but then we wouldn't know how to ever fix it or do anything. Now, yeah, I mean, we started away. today saying we knew so much more than we knew yesterday, or we know so much more than we knew yesterday, and now I feel like I even know more. Good. <laughs> Like I said, we brought out the big guns here. Got someone in who knows what they're doing. I wouldn't say I know what I'm doing. Well, you know what you're doing. A lot more than what I know. Yeah, a lot more than us. He's fixing where we spliced it together yesterday. And, um, yeah. But now we can honestly say we have two wires totally done and we're on our way to a third wire you think you'll hear that snapping noise only, mm -hmm. only by, if by the box or something yeah the box will snap um and that tells you it's working if you ever go in, in and it, right it's not snapping then you know it's not working um now you can tighten it up um this thing's a little funny though because sometimes it doesn't catch and it makes me nervous there we go here i'll show you a trick when you tighten it you always keep your thumb on it, so that your thumb's always pushing it down. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, if it doesn't catch, it's going to go... Yeah. And you don't want that. Yeah, yeah we know. It happened yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> This one. This is going to be it. Perfect. Because it needed to go from that wire out there. I'm not sure how we connect that. Um, is Dad going to drill a hole or is there a gap? <laughs> no, I'm talking about like <sighs> how we connect the black wire to our silver wire over there. We're just going to, I think, just strip the end, right? And then twist it again. I would imagine that's what we're going to do. Okay. So at this point, I think we can see the end. Yeah, Feels like it anyway. Hopefully we'll be able to get it done today. Hopefully. And then I got to do water because we have to dump that whole tank of water I just filled up. Move it. No, but then I can scrub it out because it's really bad, so... Yeah, once we get this electrified, we are going to scrub out the water tank, fill that back up, and then they should be able to go in. And then you can go to work. <laughs> yeah. Then I go to work. But I feel like I won't be able to get the tank scrubbed out and filled today. Because I feel like if we have to dig a trench to bury an extension cord and everything, that's going to take longer. Like... Because then if we're stopping for lunch, and then we got to do this, and then I got to shower, and then I got to leave, so I doubt I'll get the water and everything. I doubt they'll be moved in today. They'll probably be tomorrow morning. Okay. And then we're going to have to do the same thing to this end, correct? Yeah. Um, we're going to mount that first. Okay. Do you want me to take this completely off? Let me go see on the inside if it's popping all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it totally came through. Oops. Sorry. I wasn't holding on to it, nope. It's going to be a little trickier spot. Why? 
because it's above that one two by four. Okay, that's good. It's it. It's in. Watch out! There could be a mouse trap back in there too. Up here. Yeah, careful. Yep. You don't stab your fingers. Um, I don't. Not in that spot. I don't think. Nope. Scissors. I'll go get them. Here I go. Oh, yeah, you have them in your pocket. Just wait, it's actually my pops. Oh, like it's pops. It smells like Fleet Farm. <laughs> the smell of Fleet Farm. Oh, I see what they did. Hmm. They took, like, well, I guess they kind of did what we did with the three. Yep, that's exactly what they did. And then they ran it, because they had those kind of connectors there. I see. And see, and then they did it there too. Do, mm -hmm. do, do. And then they, they have three a, grounding rods. We're, we're just going with one. Okay. Um, and the grounding rod is what exactly? That's just to. That's so that um, in the case of a storm, like if you got struck by lightning, it would divert the energy into the ground <laughs> instead of blowing out your fencer. Okay. Do we need screws and everything? Um, yeah, a couple. Uh, can you just hang it on that nail right there? Well, sure. I guess, yeah. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I can go get a screwdriver and some Hold screws on. if you want me to. <laughs> you guys are funny to watch. <laughs> I mean, sure, Bob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is like the moment where we're going to do the big reveal. <laughs> and I don't know if I said it, but thank you. Oh yeah. Amber well, and I would have been... Well, don't We don't even know if it works. I yet. know, but Amber and I would have been here all day still working on that. <laughs> what do you got? I think so too. I don't know either. It should 
work. It should. But like, what if you miss something along the way? Well, then we go back and fix it. And we'll regroup and figure it out. So I'll start snapping if it works. And that light, it said that the light up there, do you see that little orange box? Here we go. Oh? It's snapping. Who's gonna touch it? It's snapping. Oh, Just it's wait a second up. though. Did oh yeah. Yeah. It is lighting up. Who's gonna touch it? It's hard to see, but it's snapping and lighting up. Woohoo! Okay. You gotta hold on to my hand though. No. Just wait, just wait. We gotta get up here close. Dad. How can you tell if it's working? Make sure you get an arc. This might not be succulent enough. Eska, come on. Eska. No kidding. Okay. <laughs> Amber. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Should we bring a horse over and let's sniff it? I don't want to touch it. There's got to be some way that... Well, yeah, there's these... I don't have a multimeter. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what she can... Let me see, there might be one in the shed. Let me go look. A multimeter? Yeah. I mean, I guess someone's just got to touch it. Go for it, Amber. I don't want to touch it. I really... I hate being shocked. Just take, like, your pinky finger and just bing! Mm -hmm. As fast as you can. Why don't you? I don't want to. Yeah. It's not my horses I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah. I want us to run through it. Oh gosh. Oh, it's not oh, no. on! Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Nothing? Uh, uh, the big reveal. Maybe the underground wires. What would be wrong? What would be well, wrong is that there's too much or there's not enough tape right there. Is it cutting through? I don't know. Would this be shock? All right, so now it's time to do some troubleshooting and figure out what is wrong. I'm thinking maybe it's just insufficient ground because everything is hooked up. So what does that mean exactly? You guys have any good news? Just, this has been really hard to put in. Is there Good anything rock. that I can help with? I mean, eventually we're going to need to get buckets to fill this with water, so if we can get milk jugs filled with water. I think if I get on buckets. <coughs> we had... Are you still here? I'm here. We had just sheer rock all the way. Oh my gosh. There's no way you would have gotten an eight foot ground around in here. These are no. both four feet and I mean they're hammered in the ground. Mega. Uh-huh. Do you want me to do anything right now? Can I go fill some buckets yeah, of water? Yeah, fill some buckets of water. Do you know where there are buckets? Because I just looked for buckets for There's Dad before. There's a bunch before. of buckets. Um... What did Dad say, Mom? He said maybe over by the dog food. Yeah. Okay. All right, so some guy on YouTube said that the problem with grounding is that it's the soil's too dry, right? Mm -hmm. So we are <laughs> gonna fix that problem. Let's pour it also up here and just in this ground, don't you think? Sure. Cause it's always running that way. Oops. I do think that uh, if you post this video, somebody who knows what they're doing is gonna see it and call us a bunch of fools. So I don't know if I wanna be across the internet with our uh, fence escapade. Hey, I say we're doing the best we can do. Yeah, but there's never a shortage of criticism. That's true. Pull 
that should get the uh, soil nice and packed around the oh. rounding rods yeah. because the water should fill up the voids and kind of pack the soil in. Okay, here's the second moment of truth. I'm still getting electricity here. In the ground wire, you're still getting electricity? Well, not anymore. If I touch it, I hope I die. <laughs> Me first. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Did you get it? Are you? It ain't working. Cow. What are we doing wrong? Those things aren't coming out of the ground, that's for sure. We're not getting anything here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want this on the internet, I know that. Good morning, good morning. It is many, many days later. Like I think the last video footage was Friday. It's now Thursday and guess what? The horses are in the electric fence. So Amber's gonna give us a little rundown. Yeah, let me just feed, can I just get them eating their food? Yes. But she's gonna give us a little rundown as to kind of what went down in the interim. I had to stop filming on Friday and then just because things were not going well <laughs> and I think we had other things we had to do and then Saturday I was gone Sunday was just a full day and anyway I wasn't able to kind of catch up with Amber or Warren and see what was going on so yeah. as soon as she is done Okay. Oh, I see where you left that uh, dirt. Yeah, it kind of leaves like a little. Yeah, so it kind of makes right. Okay, Pearl, eat, eat. I don't want to touch that wire because I know I'm gonna. There you go. Okay, good girl. So the main problem that we were having was something was going on with the ground and we just were unsure. I mean, Warren was unsure what was going on. Everybody was unsure. And what we found out was that in our soil type, which is kind of shale rock, sandy. Very dry, doesn't hold water easily. And so you need to have a better grounding system, that that is typically the problem with an electric fence. Ooh, bugs in my mouth. So, what did you guys in, do? We put in this fourth wire. So that would be this one, the second wire down, right? Yep. Okay. So, and that one's not electrified, and that's just going to help. So, before, when a horse, when they would touch the wire, just the three, they would, you're <laughs> mouthing everything I'm saying, they would have to have the electricity run from the wire into their body through the ground into, no, into the rods and like to make that circuit and reshock them. But since our ground doesn't have that natural wetness and hold the electricity nicely, we put in the ground wire so it acts that when they touch the electric wire, they touch the ground wire right away. So the, the, the hope is that what'll happen is they touch both this top wire here yep, so and they touch this shot, wire. You have to touch that wire that we put in and any of the other three. Right. And yeah, so we did that to help um, secure it. We unfound, we dug up our black wire that we had underground here. Uh huh. And over there, we put in this yellow wire you can see sticking out. Okay. A little higher quality. Okay. We put in that and we unwound the little pieces of wire and put those clamps on. Oh, okay. That's all new. Yeah, yep, that was new. Here that. And those are at every single um, spot to secure that the wires are touching the wire. Like maybe there yep. was a little gap when we wound it around or something. Okay. So that's to secure that. We put on those, we undid all the wires and put on those black tubes around the ends. 
because we weren't sure if the wire was cutting through the electrical tape we had and grounding it out. So we put those black tubes on the ends to secure it to make sure that was not our problem. We, what else did we do? We dug up that old grounding rod that dad found and we went and bought two more. So, well, we first had just one and we cut it in half and dug, they were both like four, it was four feet and we dug it and buried it in the ground over here and then strung on the underground wire to those so there was more in the ground. And after that, we still had nothing. So then we, or what did we have? Maybe there was, I forget if it was we had something or we didn't. No, we had something because then once we plugged it, um, we had it, there was nothing, like no electricity. So, but then we searched everything again and we found that we didn't have the box and the bong connected to the fence yet. So then we connected that and we had power. But we ended up then going and buying another one of those grounding rods, but didn't cut it in half. So we had the eight foot and dad dug a 10 foot hole here and we laid it like all, kind of like horizontally vertical. So right, right here? Yeah, it's like right here. Oh, okay. It's like right in here. That's interesting. Because this is where it gets, stays very wet. Right. And is that grounding rod like attached to anything or it's just dug in there as just a... Uh... wire strung from that uh -huh. to the wire that's strung on those two smaller ones over here. Okay. Just to ensure that if the ground ever does truly dry out and it can't reach those two four foot ones, that it dries out four feet down, We'll have this as our like backup plan. Okay. And since Dad already had that dug, he's like, "Well, might as well put it in, just to secure it, you know." Yep, just to be well, we safe. Had, um, the electricity going through it before we had this in the ground. Okay. So we know it works without it, but that's just like a backup plan. Okay. Like extra security. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think that's it. Yeah, we just strung some like little ribbon things on there just for when the horses are first put in so they can really like see the wire. Right, because when you look across, you just can't even you see can't. the mm -hmm. wires at all. And so we were a little nervous with all the work that went into this. We didn't want them to get in here and then just decide to make a run for it and break a wire well, or something. Have just ran for it. Well, you but, never know. <laughs> well, yeah, but mom, like I know that the horses wouldn't just go in here and run for it. So you brought the horses in on Sunday. Sunday morning, yep. And they, like right away the next morning when you came out, <clears throat> Amber was telling me that normally they come right up to the fence and they're kind of, they would be pushing on the old fence trying to get to her because they knew she was bringing food. Monday morning, what'd they do? They stood back, they would not come up. That's a good so thing. must have gotten shocked and I know it works really well because I got shocked the other day too, really badly. Yeah, so we are pleased that it's working. And yeah, there were a lot of... Uh, took longer than expected. I mean, we started Tuesday and didn't officially get it all done till Sunday morning. Yeah, it was more work than I think anybody anticipated. Well, I guess technically we started Wednesday. And I don't, I mean, I think that dad knew how much work it was going to be. Yeah. But we didn't, when we first started stringing wire, I don't think we knew exactly how much work it was going to be and how entailed it was going to be. But anyway, we learned a lot about electricity. Yeah, I think correct. that you probably learned more in these four days than you could have in an entire like unit of science. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty certain. I know that I learned a lot more about electricity and grounding and all of that. So in the end, in this many days out, we are all, I think, happy it's done. Happy it's done and we're all feeling positive. Yeah. We weren't so positive in the middle of it. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.